in this video tutorial I'm going to be introducing you to the major uh, controls that we have in ASP.NET uh, if you look on the uh, toolbox on the left hand side here you can see different sections of controls that we have in ASP.NET we have the standard ones which contains all the basic controls that you might need to work with such as the buttons, the drop down list, checkbox, uh, radio button and so on and so forth. Uh, the next one is the data uh, controls. Uh, this one contains the grid view, the details view and they are used to display data and to connect your uh, website to a database. For example, you can use the SQL data source to connect the page to SQL data server. Um, next one on the list is the validation control. The validation controls are used to validate your fields before the, the data are sent to the server. For example, you can validate an email address. If you validate an email address, you're making sure that uh, the user has entered an email address before you accept the input to be sent to the server. So you can use uh, this uh, validation uh, controls to do that. In the uh, future videos, I'm going to be creating um, uh, examples of how to use each of these controls. The next one is the navigation control, which is used to create, as the name suggests, the navigation, the menu bar, the tree view, the site map path for our website so we can uh, navigate easily on our website. Uh, the next uh, controls are the ones used to create user on your website, recover your password, login into a secured website and so on. So these are all complex controls and we're going to be talking more about them in the future as well. Uh, the two controls that we might not be using depending on how far we are going to go in these video tutorials is the web parts and the the Ajax extension. The Ajax extension and the web parts, the complex controls and we might not be talking about them. The last but not the least is the HTML control. The HTML control is just a normal HTML tag. For example, if I drag one of these button onto the page. If we go to the source view, we can see that it is just a normal input tag for HTML. So uh, the reason why you might want to use an HTML tag is because, say for example, the reason why they've been included is um, you might have an old website which contains a lot of HTML tags and you want to um, con change the tags to an ASP.NET controls and how you do that is to uh, just add a I'll show you for example let me show you from a standard uh, tool so if I go back to the design view let me delete this button and, and if I add the ASP.NET button at the top and I'm going to add an HTML button at the bottom so you can see the difference and the difference is going to be let me the difference is going to be that the ASP.NET button has a prefix of ASP this one doesn't because it's just a normal uh, HTML tag this one has uh, a run at equals to server attribute and this is the most important attribute of any for example if I should delete this uh, attribute let's cut it out and go back to the design view uh, it's saying that there's an error because there's no run at equals to server attribute on the button tag so if I run the website um, it said there's an error so it will not be able to run so I'm not going to run it so that shows you the importance of having the uh, run at equals to server for each of the ASP.NET controls. So um, what we can also do is we can convert an HTML 
uh, control into an ASP.NET control. Let me show you how to do that. Let me delete uh, this particular button and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to add a span so this is just a normal span normal HTML span and I'm going to give you an ID and the reason why you want to give an ID is to make it easy to reference a control on the page and I'm going to show you what I mean in a minute so if I say the ID equals to I'm going to use this span to display a time time so I'm going to call it time span right so and I'm going to include the run at equals to server server so let's close it so because I've added these attributes run across the server that means I've turned this HTML tag into a server-side control so I'm going to use the button to display the time of the day whenever I click on the button so let's do that so if I go back to uh, the design view and I double click on this button you see it gives us the button dot click event so what I want to happen anytime I click the button is I want to set the inner text of the time span to be the date time now and I want to display the time in this format you don't have to worry about the C sharp code for now because I'm going to be doing some uh, simple C sharp tutorial as I go along so I just want to show you how you can convert um, HTML tag to a server side tag so if I run this website now so if I click on the button I should get the time of the day so the time now is 2 30 p.m. so this is how and as you can see we can actually uh, turn the HTML tag into a server side ASP.NET tag